Oh, nothing. Just finishing up my document here. I've been working really hard on it. Oh, really? What's it about? It's about OneDrive for Business and how you can access your doc. Well, see ya. Darn those pesky computer problems. And don't they just happen at the worst possible times? Whether your computer freezes, something gets spilt on it, or even if it gets stolen. Hey! It seems that you're always at risk of losing your data, but even if someone were to come by and slap a computer out of your hands, it's okay because with OneDrive, all of your data is backed up. And not only is it backed up, but it's accessible at any time, anywhere. Well, this computer's toast. But that doesn't mean all is lost. As a matter of fact, nothing is lost. I can grab any computer I want and pick up as if nothing has happened. Or, if I don't have a new computer, I can always grab a smartphone and have access to my data from there. So here's a brand new computer, and there's no Office applications installed on it, and therefore none of my documents are available on it. However, if I sign into the web version of Office by going to portal.office.com, and I click on OneDrive, all of the documents that I saved are now available. And if I want to work on one, I still don't have to have any applications installed on my computer. I'll simply double click, and it will open up in the web version of your Office application. In this case, I'm opening a Word document, so when I double click on it, it will open in Word Online. And now that I'm here, I can edit the document like I normally would on the desktop version. However, the only drawback to using the web version of Office is that you have to have an online connection in order to access your documents. Plus, I said at the beginning that we can pick up as if nothing has happened. So let me show you how to do that. Since we're signed into the web portal anyway, I can click on the Install Office Apps button. And included in this download are my favorite Office apps like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, and of course, OneDrive. And now that Office has finished installing, I'm ready to sign in and start syncing my documents down to this new computer. To do that, I'll need to open up the OneDrive for Business application. Once I finish signing in, I'll be prompted to select which files I want to sync down to the computer. And now that all my files are synced, I'm back in working order. But how did these files and folders get into OneDrive in the first place? Well, since we already have it installed on the computer, let me show you. Since OneDrive is now installed and syncing to my computer, I can save files by opening OneDrive in my File Explorer, selecting the destination file path, and dragging documents in. In this example, I'm uploading an image, a PDF, and a video file, but you can upload any file you wish. I can also add files to OneDrive through the web application. Simply sign in, select OneDrive, find the destination file path, and either select the upload button or drag your documents to the folder. I can also directly save in an application by choosing OneDrive. So that takes care of the home and office, but what if you're on the go? See, you used to only be able to access your emails on your phone or tablet, but now with Office 365, you can access your actual data, but not only access it, but you can edit it on the go as well. All you have to do is access your device's app store and download the Office 365 apps you want to access. To view or work on a document, open the OneDrive app on your smart device and find the file. Tap the file to open it and it will display in view mode. To edit the document, select the Office app you will edit the document in. In this case, I have a Word file, so I will open it in Word. And now that it's open, I can begin editing. Any changes made here are saved automatically. So there we have it. By using OneDrive, we can access our data anytime, anywhere. And we're only scratching the surface with OneDrive. We haven't even gone over things like versioning or autosave or even collaboration. The only question we have left is, what do we do with that laptop?
Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video on OneDrive. If you have a question about OneDrive, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like our videos, click the like button or even subscribe.